Hi guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you another Recent Reads video. As always, I got three books to talk about, so let's just get right into it. The first book I want to mention, I actually finished in January, I just never had a chance to talk about it, and that is um, Life Lessons from the Cat, edited by Amy Newmark. This is a Chicken Soup for the Soul book. If you're not familiar with Chicken Soup for the Soul, it's a series of books, and each book is a collection of short stories that are submitted by various people, and each, each collection of short stories centers around a theme. So there's like chicken soup for the teacher's soul, chicken soup for the writer's soul, chicken soup for the mother's soul. And then in addition to that, they have these collections that are centered around animals. So they have cat lovers books and then dog lovers books. And I mean, they might even have more than that, but I know for sure they got cat and dog lovers books. So this one was their newest um, well, I think they got more now, but my, I got this for Christmas in 2019, and at the time, it was the newest cat, um, Chicken Soup for the Soul book, and it's just a collection of short stories that all relate to having a cat, you know, it's funny stories, sad stories, cute stories, hopeful stories, just all kinds of stories about cats, and it's a really sweet little book. All the chicken soup books are really sweet and cute. I will say that the Chicken Soup for the Soul, the Chicken Soup for the Soul series is a religious based organization and series, so just FYI, there's mentions of God and Jesus and all that kind of stuff in here as well. So just giving you a heads up in case that's not your thing. But this is just a really sweet little book. I took this on vacation when I went out of town for Martin Luther King Day with my parents and it was just real easy to pick it up here and there and read a couple stories in between activities. But yeah, this was really sweet and I definitely recommend it if you got a cat lover in your life. The next book that I finished was in the Country by Mia Alvar. This is a collection of nine short stories that all have to do with the Philippine, Filipino experience. It's either um, following people that live in the Philippines, immigrants that have moved to a different country, you know, Filipino immigrants that have moved to a different country, or Filipinos that have moved to a different country and are now back visiting um, the Philippines. So it's all about different areas and facets of Filipino life. We're following, you know, average, ordinary people. We see their lives in terms of like political events, in terms of like religious events, in terms of their family dynamics. It was just a really, really great book. I would definitely recommend this. I learned a lot about Filipino culture, food, history, political figures in their life, you know, in their country. Um, you know, their myths and, you know, the things that make their society run. And Mia Alvar actually also lived in Baran, which is a, um, island in the, like, Saudi, like, right off the coast of Saudi Arabia, and it's a Muslim, you know, um, majority country. And so there's a, there's two different stories about Filipino, um, immigrants that, live in Baran and we see their experiences and that was really interesting. I've never heard of Baran prior to reading this, this book and I think I might have uh, said this you know in previous videos but I'm reading I, I'm trying to get in the habit of reading more books about the Philippines because I have a sister-in-law who is from the Philippines who came over to the states to work in the medical field and then of course she met my brother and now they have you know a kid together and all that fun stuff but I just wanted to get more informed about the Philippines and of course now my niece is a Filipino American so I'd like to have a, a bit more insight into that so I can converse with her you know when she gets older in case she's interested in talking about that so yeah I really really enjoyed this book I read one story every morning before work and it was just a great start to the day i learned so much as i already said i would highly recommend this if you got any interest at all in learning more about um the filipino experience and filipino culture just a fabulous fabulous book i then finished uh last night i finished Bewa, a new translation by maria Stefani Headley. I don't know why I can't ever remember, remember her name. This is exactly what it sounds like. It is a like sort of modernized version of the story of Beowulf, 
Bay Whip is a classic, um, like, what's it, Norris piece of literature, and it's something that's read in schools a lot here in the States. I had to read it in high school, and I didn't have any particular interest in ever reading it again, but then one of the ladies at my book club was raving about this book when we met in January, so we decided to make it our February book. This is a really, really interesting retelling, or not retelling, but translation, because it's, it does use very modern phrases. You know, there's swear words in it, the F word comes up a few times, um, the phrase hashtag blessed is used in this book at least once, possibly more than once. Um, the opening, um, what's the word, there's like an opening greeting in the, the original translations that are, that's, um, ho, it says ho, and in this translation it's bro, and so it's like, hey bro, and then she, it gets into the story. There's a really interesting introduction that I'm actually planning to reread tonight before our meeting, and it's talking about all about how she intentionally was trying to make this a more modern and feminist version of Beowa. The, uh, so I don't, if you don't know the story, I mean, I guess this is technically spoilers, but also the story is like 500 years old, so like, come on now. So this is the story of Beowulf, and he is a great warrior king, and he is actually um, asked by a local king to come kill this monster named Grindel, who is coming to the the first the king's hall every night and killing the warriors that are there, and it's really devastating the warrior population, and they can no longer defend themselves, so they summon Beowulf, and Beowulf kills Grindel, and so Grindel's mother actually comes to get revenge, and she succeeds in killing a few people, but then Beowulf goes to her lair and kills her. And so, traditionally speaking, Grendel's mother has sort of been written off, and uh, Maria Hadley, Devana Hadley, was interested in sort of making the um, Grendel's mother, as well as the other female characters who aren't in it very long, be more sympathetic. And so she was very intentional about picking feminist language and telling, um, you know, the story with a more nuanced view. So this was a really interesting book. I'm looking forward to rereading the introduction and then speaking about it with the ladies at book club tonight. So that's all I've been reading lately. Currently, I am still working on The Paris Secret by Karen Swan. I'm listening to this on audiobook, and it's going kind of slowly because I haven't had that much time to um, listen to audiobooks lately because normally I listen to them when I'm walking my steps, and lately at work I've been getting a lot of steps, so I don't need to walk as many. Or on the days when I do need to walk steps, there's been so much booktube lately that I have to, like, watch you know, booktube instead of listening to my audiobook. And I was, I follow a lot of people who do really long videos, like 20, 30, 40 minute videos, which is great. And I love listening to them and watching them, but it's like, it doesn't leave much time for my audiobook. And I also listen to it in the car, but I don't, I'm actually not been going in the car that much lately either. So I just haven't had many opportunities for listening to this, but I finally made it to 50%, so I'm very hopeful that I'm going to finish it um, by the end of February. So that's all I've been reading lately. I hope everybody else has been reading some great books, and you're keeping safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you again soon.